Hello, my name's Tim, and I just thought I'd give you a quick... Uh, well, I, I've, been, I've been doing a bit of work on a man called Richard Dadd. Um, fascinating man. He was imprisoned in uh, a lunatic asylum called Bethlehem, known as Bethel, and he spent 20 years there, and then he was put in Broadmoor, which is now a prison. Uh, but during this time, he painted fairies. Fascinating man, obsessed like uh, Edward Lear and Lewis Carroll with nonsense. But he wasn't the only person interested in fairies. The other people, uh, two of the other people, are connected with the man who wrote Sherlock Holmes, Arthur Conan Doyle. Uh, one was his father, John Doyle, and the other one was his uncle, Richard Doyle, who also ended up in prison. Now, come, 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 out, come out into the garden a moment. Um, are you coming? Come on. Because... Uh, the garden was the place where the Victorians believed fairies lived. Um, and here we've got some little toadstools, ideal for uh, encouraging fairies to come and stay. Well, I don't know whether we have any fairies at the bottom of our garden, um, but the Victorians certainly thought that they existed. And Arthur Conan Doyle was completely obsessed with the idea of fairies and with the idea that you could communicate with the dead. And indeed, he got hoaxed by three little girls in Yorkshire who produced photographs, fake photographs, of their encounters with fairies. So there you are. This is Tim. Have fun.